All right. So, hey, everybody. So we are in our next unit already. I know that moved fast and there really wasn't any sort of test for the previous one, but don't freak out about it. We are going to be coming back to those perspectives consistently over and over again this year. So we're going to get more practice with them as we go throughout the year. Um, we are now moving into unit two, which is oddly a pretty short unit, but it is one of the most important in the AP psychology class because one of the questions that you're going to get for the short response, which we're going to call uh, free response questions, FRQs, we're going to get to that next week on how to write for that. But one of the FRQs is always about something in unit two, and that thing is research methods. You're always going to be asked to use um, some of the scientific language that psychologists use in order to think about um, creating different studies, research, things like that. So as we get into some of the things we're talking about today, as well as next week, unit two, we're going to take two weeks to do just because it is such an important unit. Really pay attention and give this unit the time that it deserves. Um, this week, you're just going to be doing kind of a, a quick lesson, um, sorry, a quick assessment where you're going to be applying some of the things you've learned. Next week, again, you're going to be doing more of a formal writing assignment um, that is going to kind of help introduce you to the way that you need to write for the AP test, as well as test your understanding of the unit as a whole. So again, we are getting into unit two, which is all about research methods. So these first few units, again, in psychology are kind of dull, but they're important so you understand how you have to do the rest of this class. So you are just going to be looking at modules four and five today, not modules six, seven, and eight, just four and five. So Again, we're just checking in um, when you come to live session on Thursday. Again, I'll just check and see how you're doing. Uh, but then you're going to be doing some independent reading and note taking on your own for modules four and five with the vocab chart um, tracker. And then you are going to be either listening to me lecture live, watching the lecture slot, um, videos, or going through the slides. Finally, there's the assignment that you'll be working on. So again, before we get started, though, as always, I will have the birthdays, weekly tip, and news updates. Um, additionally, please make sure you do the daily check-in. Um, if you do this while you're working on this, or if you do it while you attend live sessions, that's what mostly matters. But please do it. I actually do read them. OK, so again, today what you're going to be working on is learning about different research methods and how to think critically using psychological science. Um, you're going to be reading modules four through five in your online AP psych textbook. And you're going to be taking some notes, watching the recorded lectures, completing the guided notes, and then finishing up the assignment. So again, for this part, you'll open up the PDF uh, textbook that is in Google Classroom. You're going to be reading modules four through five and um, going on the vocab tracker to keep track of that. So again, to do that, when you're in Google Classroom, The online textbook is here, so you will open that up and you're going to be scrolling. I have it already saved here, so I'm just going to go here. You'll be scrolling to module four, <laughs> unit two, sorry, it's around page 70-ish um, when you're looking at it here. Anyways, you get the gist of it. <laughs> so you're going to scroll until you get to there. Um, and then for the vocabulary, again, you'll open up your vocab tracker and you're going to be keeping track of the vocab in unit two. So again, just for this week, you're working on four and five. Don't worry about six, seven and eight, which is going to be a little bit heavier, but you're going to have a week to do it. I'll get to that later. Anyways. OK, so moving back to the slides. So you're going to again open up the PDF, read modules four and five, and then take notes in your vocab tracker. Next, you are going to be listening to the lecture videos and or going through the slides. So before you do that though, first open up the assignment in Google Classroom. So just like last week, you'll open up the assignment, which is called AP Psych Assignment Week 3. And you're first going to answer this question. It says, before you start your lecture notes, answer the questions below. 
So you're going to read this claim and, or sorry, the claim here. And then you're going to give two pieces of evidence just from your life that support it. Then you're going to go back here. You'll click on the lecture video when it's there. You'll watch the module for lecture video. Or again, if you come to live session, you're listening to me give it. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just go through and go through the slides. You'll go through slides up until uh, slide 16. And then while you're doing that, you should also be filling in the guided notes here. The check for understanding is a little bit different this time. It's more of like an activity, so you make sure you do that. Then you'll do the same thing for module five. Watch the video, go through the slides. These ones are, it's a little bit longer. There's a lot of slides here. Um, and then while you're doing that, there are not a lot of guided notes, but there are some. The check for understanding questions are multiple choice again, because multiple choice is a huge part of the AP test. So you're gonna answer that. And then the last part is the applying your understanding where you are going to be creating kind of like your own study based on the theory that I gave you. So using the terms that you learn about in module five, you're going to be using the working theory here. Um, I'm actually gonna highlight that now just so you see it. And then you are going to write a hypothesis here. You're going to think about what type of study you would do to test it. You're going to define the operations of it. You're going to pick a population, decide if you're gonna use a random sample, and then um, talk about sampling bias. After that, you are done with this week. And that's it. All right.